So I'm going to elaborate on what these things are, all right? A true king family, a true king rules, he conquers, he protects, and he provides, okay? A true king, he rules, he conquers, he protects, and he provides. Now, we're going to go into that, okay? A true king rules. What do you mean by that, Kevin? What do you mean by rules? Because it's not like, um, should you have this idea of conquering, um, of ruling people, of having dominion over people? Uh, no, what I mean by a true king rules, it is um, the uh, exercising of ultimate power or authority, authority over themselves. So rule, rule for me. Now, I want you guys to understand this. Because I'm giving you guys my views on what a true king is, okay? Rule for me is to exercise ultimate power or authority over oneself. To rule yourself, number one. You cannot be a king if you don't rule yourself. If, if, if you're owned by another, if you're indebted to another, and you're being controlled by another because you got to go work for them and all those things, then you want to correct some things so you can be a true king, truly ruling yourself. No, knowing what your rules are for life and obeying them. You rule you. Nobody makes the rules and tells you how to behave. You have made those rules because your character and you line them up with your character. There are certain things you refuse to do because they're lower than you. It doesn't matter if everybody in society can do it and get away with it. It's beneath you and you rule. It, the discipline that you have to adhere to your rules, to your standards, is second to none because you are the king and you made the rule. So you understand the value of adhering to that rule. You understand the value of, of allowing that rule to govern you and the way you carry yourself. You understand? It's your rules, but these rules control you. But you put thought into these rules that govern you. And you don't go outside of these rules. Do you understand, family? So a true king rules. A true king conquers. What do I mean by conquers? conquer? Do I mean overcome and take control with some military force? No. What I mean by conquering is successfully overcoming your past self, your failures, climbing. One of the words for conquering means to climb, like to climb a mountain, to successfully rise. That's what conquering means. Facing the walls that's in front of you and moving past them. It's not about looking out into reality, thinking about who you can have dominion over. It's more about creating your reality and the, and the properties and things that you create, you will have dominion over them, not people. You're not looking to rule and conquer people. You're looking to rule yourself and conquer yourself, your old self, your old way of thinking, your old way of doing things because you realize that to be a king, you got to overcome the peasant that's in you. Does this make sense, family? Not conquering other people, conquering your goals and your dreams for life, conquering your past self. If you used to be lazy, conquer that. Climb that great mountain of laziness that you that, that you that you uh, manifest every single day for yourself. If you're depressed and you don't believe in yourself, conquer that. Climb, climb out of that pit, family. Is it making sense to you now? A true king protects. What do you mean, Kevin? A true king protects. It means to preserve, to aim, to preserve. That means every move that you make is to protect yourself, your own character, your own reputation, your children, your well-being, everything that your kingdom touches. That means everything that you've worked to, to, uh, to create, uh, everything that holds dear to you, your mission, your materials. You're going to protect them with your own actions. Protection is protection. Yeah. When someone tries to come and take what you have, you defending them, defending your, your property, defending your people. Yes, that's a form of protection. But if there's nobody to, to try and come and attack you, then what is protection? Protection is how you carry yourself. If you're going around and you crossing people, you lying on people, you're deceiving people, you're not protecting your own family because somebody's going to come back and repay you for that shit you're doing. So you're not really thinking about your family or how high you're going because you're doing people wrong. You're, you're breaking your alliances. Your character can't be trusted. And because of that, you, you offer no protection to your family or your children or your inheritance because your character is, is lame. Does that make sense, family? You are not protecting anybody if you don't vibrate to higher character. In fact, you are forsaking everything you've ever worked for. You're not protecting a damn thing when all you do is lie and connive. 
You're not willing to work hard for anything. You're not protecting a thing. So a true king rules. A true king conquers. And a true king protects. Do you understand? A true king rules by setting the example for himself and others by adhering to his own standards. That's how he rules. He knows his rules. The world going to tell you what's right and wrong. But a true king or queen has sit up, sit up and thought about interactions and determine why they feel it's right or wrong. And based on the person they want to be, they decided they're not going to carry themselves in such a way. Do you understand that? And it's, you can't fake that. You can't fake that because at any moment you can be challenged. And if you haven't done the work to work on your true kingliness, your true queenliness, then the peasants going to come out of you. How you truly handle uh, uh, trauma, how you truly handle um, uh, pressure, if you're going to react like a damn peasant. You're not going to react like a king because you haven't been accountable to being a king or queen. You can't fake it. It ain't materials. Anybody can get come into some money family and buy some things and think that that proves who they are but man that shit don't prove who you are character is where it is family if you don't build that up you won't even be able to maintain wealth do you understand your character your, your, your character can't keep you in the place of, of good vibration of success if, if, if your character is not good you can have all the talent in the world to manifest whatever money to you and, and, and adoration and love from people and power. Some people are very charming. They're able to pull a crowd. That's great. But your character won't keep you there. Because if you have low character, when the power comes in and the adoration and the people and the love comes in, it's going to exploit your weak peasant ass. You're going to show who you are. If you want to see who somebody is, else somebody is truly, give them a bunch of money, give them access to the resources, Give them a platform and you will see them expose who they truly are, family. They'll either start bragging and rubbing it in everybody's faces, thinking they're better than other people because they have something. They'll literally become a show offy, disgusting individual. So you can't fake it. Good or bad, you're going to reveal yourself if your character's low. So back to where we were, a true king. What, what is a true king? A true king rules, a true king conquers. A true king protects and a true king provides. What does provide mean? Make available for use or supply. Make adequate preparation for. That's what provide means. Make adequate preparation for. Do you understand like, okay, in order for you to be a provider, you have to make adequate preparation for having a skill. You have to pour yourself into a skill, cultivate that skill until you sharpen it good enough to where people come to you and want your service. It's not just provide. See, provide. Every, we, tell, we tell our young men, provide, provide. But they, what they're learning is just go get a job, not create within yourself a talent or a knack for something that creates your way. That's how you provide. It's, it's, it's more than just, hey, come here, work here. I'm going to give you an hourly pay. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's about going inside of you and becoming a better person. Become a great hunter so you can provide. But if you just take, a, take the bow and arrow and run out thinking you're going to survive or provide, man, you might provide. You might provide some squirrels. You might provide some little rats, some lizards, the shit you can catch. But you're not going to provide the things that sustain your family. Because you haven't cultivated a skill that can do that. A king understands that if I don't pour into myself, I will forever be a peasant. And the only thing that I can attribute to being a king are the things that I put into me. Not my inheritances. Not the things that automatically came to me. I was born with gifts and talents. So those can't prove who I am. Because I can have gifts and talents. And if I have low character, I won't even cultivate them. I'll actually take those gifts and talents for granted. So me having a bunch of talents and not acting on them shows that my character is low. My ancestors done me a great justice by giving me these skills, but I'm not doing them a great justice because I'm not using them. Yo, this going to help somebody. So I say y'all got to subscribe because I know y'all want to manifest your truest kingdom. And to do that, you got to be your truest king, your truest queen. You can't forsake all the work to making yourself a better person and then get mad at life for not giving you what a better person deserves.
Are you, that's 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 sick. Thank you, Carmel. I'm gonna pin that comment. Continuing, a true king is not about power, status, fame, and wealth. This is how he is normally perceived, right? But he understands the rewards and consequences of power. And a, and a true king utilizes all of those things for the greater good of his kingdom. And what is his kingdom? The place domain and territory and world that he has built to protect and nurture because a true king is both a loyal servant and a leader to his kingdom you can never be a master teacher unless you are first a master student you can never be a ruler until you are first a servant family the very people you think that you're ruling you serve them you serve them people you don't rule those people how many times have you ever seen somebody with a massive following act like they rule those people, not that they serve them? I serve y'all. I come on here to bring y'all the food, the, the food that I have prepared, that I have worked so hard for in my kitchen. And I present that to you guys like a chef would. And I take time because I care about how I present it to you guys because you're worthy, your greatness. And I know that I serve you. I'm going to say it again. A true king is not just about power, status, and fame as he is normally perceived by everyone else. A true king is not just about power, status, and fame and wealth. This is only how they are perceived by others. When you think of a king, you think of thrones, gold, having an army, having a scepter, sitting, sit, having a crown on. You think of all this fame, fortune, and wealth, and prestige. That's what you see. You don't understand the depth. That's, that's external. The depth to the king is knowledge and wisdom and tact and strategy. Because one cannot have all those things and not have the other. If you just got gold and thrones and crowns, man, you're going to be robbed. You're going to be stripped from that. Somebody's going to take all of that from you. Because you have no wisdom, you have no tact, and you have no strategy. And that's going to be exploited, the fact that you lack those things. So as a true king, you can't just expect to, um, to have a part of it without having all of it. You got to be willing to work, kings and queens. A true king utilizes all of these things for the greater good of his kingdom. The place, the domain, the territory and world that he has built to protect and nurture. Because a true king is both a loyal servant and a leader to his kingdom. That's powerful, family. That's powerful. Here's the thing that's going to be the thought that I want us all to meditate on until tomorrow rise, okay? Tomorrow, 9 o'clock, okay? Here's the thing I want us to meditate on. A true king treats his kingdom like his own child someone type that in for me because we're gonna this is the thought i want us to, to meditate on okay a true king treats his kingdom like his own child someone type that in for me please this is where it gets good right here a true king a true king treats his kingdom like his own child hmm Wow. How how does a king treat his own child? Let's 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 bring some light to that. Right? Let's let's bring some light to that, okay? How does a true king treat his child? Does a true king lay with anyone to bring about the heir to his kingdom? The heir to everything he's worked to cultivate. Does does he sleep with anybody? Or does he sleep with a queen? 
does he form an alliance with a powerful queen? Someone who can create lineage, resources, family, tribe, community. Does he not put thought into who he lays with to create his heir to his throne? Doesn't he? So a true king treats his kingdom like his own child. So a true king is not going to lay with a peasant and bring in his heir through that peasant, right? He's going to sleep with someone who has character, who has vision, who knows where they're going to go in life. Thank you so much, Moses, for the 200 stars. Who knows where they're going in life, family. Isn't that right? A true king knows that a child takes at least nine months to manifest. So the dream don't happen overnight. A true king does not be impatient with his child. He knows it's a child born empty of knowledge from this world. So he's not going to be short tempered with his child. He's going to teach his child strategy with the intent that his child governs his kingdom and takes it further in life. Not just don't embarrass me. I want you to know how to take what I did further. So I'm going to dedicate people around you to make sure that they're training up my child. Think if, if someone knows it more than me, I'm going to hire them to train my son this. So instead of putting my son just in football, yes, your son needs to have physical ability. So you want to challenge them to, to manifest a stronger version of themselves via their body. But what about business? What about money? 